This video is brought to you by the EA Creator Network. My opinions are my own, and thank you EA for sending the code for growing together. You are my sunshine on a rainy day. You are the one that takes my breath away. Heck yeah, this is it. This is now. We are finally growing together with the family expansion pack so many of us have wanted for years. But this is not just about growing together. It's also going to be about high school years. What? <laughs> so I never got around to doing a Let's Play on that expansion pack. And with this one just seemingly going so well with growing together, I figured why not combine the two for Supernatural Generations? This is also going to be a pretty occult focused series, continuing off what I've done with previous series like Supernatural Generations and vampires. This one will be divided into two story arcs, the first being growing together in San Sequoia, and then when it's time for high school, we're gonna move the family to Copperdale for the high school years arc. Even though I often don't shy away from integrating gameplay from other packs into the newest one, this is gonna be the first time that it's going to be such a focus. So this new world that we're going to live in is called San Sequoia, a San Francisco inspired city that began as a small fishing town and then became a hub of the fishing and canning industry. And apparently it's a perfect place to raise a family. So yeah, I don't know why the whale bird icon isn't showing up. For some reason, some of the worlds here are like that in my game right now, but then Evergreen Harbor is fine and, and Brightchester and Glimmerbrook and Sulani, so... I don't know, maybe a mod issue, but we'll just go here, and there is the map. We got three different neighborhoods, Hopewell Hills, which is the suburbs, Anchor Point Wharf, which is almost downtown, but not really, though you can actually spot some sharks in the water, which is pretty cool when you're playing there, and then Gilbert Gardens, which is also not quite downtown, <laughs> but it's, it definitely has like a big park to it, so makes sense that with Eco Lifestyle, it starts out with the green Eco footprint. So this is where we are going to spend most of the Let's Play, most likely, because this is where we're living, right here. <laughs> so let's get out of that. So unfortunately, it is a pretty gloomy day, and it is getting towards the end of fall. But yeah, waning Gibbous Moon. Woo! It is Harvest Fest as well. Maybe we'll have some time to just be thankful later. But this should be a really interesting series because there's been so much history behind this family. Not just stuff that I've made up, but also from Let's Plays that I've already done on my channel. Especially with Nolan Hawks. <laughs> because with him... His story started as a child in my Sims 3 Midnight Hollow Let's Play, where him and his dad, Sebastian, they ran away from his evil birth mom, Gabriella, who was a spellcaster who became just so corrupt by her lust for power that uh, it was just not a good environment for no one to be raised in, so they, um, they managed to escape in their blimp, but then got shot down by one of Gabriella's fire spells and they landed in Forgotten Hollow. So they just kind of found a house to live there. And Sebastian actually took in a new friend, Elena, who uh, they met there. And then at the end of that series, Sebastian got married to Nadia Cho, who is actually a pre-made town who comes with that world. So <laughs> that's my remake of her uh, in this game. And yeah, amazing compatibility. So I did set up those social compatibility things with the immediate family. I still need to do the rest of my Sims because I have literally hundreds of them. So then several months later, there was a huge earthquake that rocked the entire planet and everything went dark. It seemed like the world had come to an end, but then it got rebooted as The Sims 4. So Nolan, and Sebastian, and Adia ended up waking up in Forgotten Hollow, which I imagine wasn't that far from Midnight Hollow. So I did my Vampire's Let's Play there, and Nolan's sister, Evelyn, was born. So yeah, she's pretty cool. <laughs> She'll basically be the cool auntie in this series. So I ended up doing my Vampire's Let's Play in Forgotten Hollow, and Evelyn was born during that time, who is Nolan's sister now, so yeah, thankfully they also have 
amazing compatibility. Then, fast forward a few more years, when Discovery University came out, I did my Supernatural University Let's Play, and that is where Breen comes into the picture. By the way, her hair is uh, by Samandi. It's the sleepy hair. It, it was just too iconic to get rid of. There was no way <laughs> I was getting rid of that, especially with the, the color accessory you can have on that. But yeah, they both went to university with Breen. They stayed at the same dorm. And when they realized they were all Supernaturals, they were like, oh, we should stick together. So they became a very close trio. And eventually, Breen and Nolan fell in love. <laughs> and after graduation, Breen went back to uh, Glimmerbrook and proposed to Nolan on the bridge there. So that was pretty cool. So after university, Nolan and Breen did move to San Maishudo, and that's where they recently had Magnus. So yeah, infants are now in the game, and I thought it would be good to start off this series with an infant. We we'll probably have another child later, so we can also have a child that's starting literally from the beginning in this series, growing together, who will be growing together with his family. So <laughs> of course, Breen is making mac and cheese in the cauldron again, like, as she usually does. So yeah, this used to be a bedroom and I changed it into a sort of like sorcerer room. I figured Breen still needed that. <laughs> and this will be a bedroom for when <laughs> Magnus grows up. I don't know if I'll keep it exactly like this, we'll see. And uh, yeah, this is their bedroom right here. I kind of expanded the wall a little bit. Though I had to give up a little bit of space in the nursery, but it still works out pretty well, I think. You just go downstairs, you can see like the living room, there's the upright piano. <laughs> it's funny, it's like there's this sort of guest bedroom that's in the garage, like a fake garage. <laughs> but hopefully we'll get cars eventually, and yeah, the kitchen, and then I did add some stuff here, including Rava Sheets, More Choices Video Station, so... I can do the Get Famous vlog stuff without needing an object that takes up more space. And here's this little backyard in the treehouse, which is a new object. We'll probably not get to building this until at least one of the children is, well, a child. <laughs> so, oh, and Marble. Yes, that's Breed's cat. So, <laughs> this little dragon costume, I love it. Oh no, Marble's in heat. <laughs> Okay, so a big part of this expansion pack is Milestones, which kind of reminds me a lot of The Sims 2's memory system, where there's these sort of major moments that can happen in The Sims' life, and then you can look back on them here. So they actually do apply retroactively if you've been playing this game before getting this expansion pack, but only to the age that your sim is currently because it's like oh well <laughs> don't have my teen milestones because yeah it's not applying which is unfortunate but oh well <laughs> yeah you can see got engaged to breen fell in love with breen just had baby magnus earned the history degree so there is some cross pack compatibility like i talked about in a previous video there's the manifested as a vampire which is sadly the only vampire milestone and same thing with spellcasters, it's just become one and that's it. So hopefully mods add more milestones. I don't know why it doesn't say his first woohoo was with Breen there, but yeah. And he did get a job, of course, because he is... Uh, he is in the law career from Discovery University, he is a judge. And Breen is an aspiring actress, <laughs> a rising star already, because she looks up to Janessa from my Get Famous Let's Play, but if you watch that series, you'll know Janessa's not a great person. <laughs> but that's just how it is sometimes. You don't always know that your role model's not actually a good person in reality. So, yeah, that's kind of the thing that I have going there. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, she is getting hungry, but she's almost done cooking that mac and cheese. Yeah, Nolan's already taking care of Magnus here. It's interesting, like, it's just such a big contrast between just having like the base game and any other packs, but not growing together. And then after getting going together, there's just all these things that infants can't do, but the base game they can already do. <laughs> so the instant 
Magnus aged up into an infant. We got first smiled, where the world just got a bit brighter with Magnus's very first smile. And then there was Born, of course. Adopted pet because Marvel was already in the family to begin with. And then we have these ones that are like ones I guess we should aspire to get next and give us a hint. So yeah, there's like this whole tummy time thing that wasn't in the base game. And learn to reach. Oh, the playmat to look at toys. Yeah, so that's downstairs. And what is this? Learn to coo. <laughs> there's like there's more than that though. <laughs> there's a lot of milestones for infants, it seems. I'm trying not to spoil everything before playing this pack, but it's very intriguing for sure. You know, think of the mode, and yeah, you can already see the spellbook icon for his motives, so you already know <laughs> Magnus is a spellcaster. Though it is kind of funny that he uh, inherited Nolan's skin tone, and you can't see them right now, but he does have Breen's uh, alien ears, because Breen's dad is actually an alien, so... She's kind of a hybrid, but not really. She doesn't have any alien powers. She only has the powers of a spellcaster. Uh, oh, I thought you were going to eat the mac and cheese. And actually, I'll show you the new outfit I made for Breen. I still held on to all the outfits from the previous series. But yeah, I like giving them new clothing whenever I bring back characters. So there we go. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cute. I know I kind of joked about this uh, cropped... <laughs> this crop sweater in a previous video, but I like it. <laughs> it looks really good uh, on Breen. And yeah, the skirt is new. Uh, oh wait, no, there's no new shoes in this pack. So that's all kind of like the new right together stuff I put on her. And then um, most of Nolan's outfits actually from Growing Together, the hair, the top, the pants, the shoes are from the Ancient Arrivals kit. Yeah, let's change Nolan into Every day outfit. Actually, I have two or three. I forgot there's three of them because there's like this one that I like to pretend is a seagull. <laughs> kind of similar colors, though. It's probably meant to be a hen, but uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> what the? It's music. First blowout milestone unlocked. Oh my goodness. Yuck. It was bound to happen, but Magnus had his first. Blow out. Hey, I wasn't done reading. Hopefully the diaper will hold next time. <laughs> okay, well, I guess it is time to uh, use the changing table, which unfortunately they limited to this expansion. I guess that spin just did a <laughs> just did a whole number on- Oh no! <laughs> it made Nolan dirty as well! Without even having to pee himself in. Oh, actually, I need to feed Nolan as well. I need to have him drink uh, maybe a couple of his plasma packs. I think this interaction is glitched. I think I might have heard something about this before. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, because it's not even in his queue. Well, that's great. We're already encountering a glitch. At least the weather is getting sunnier, though. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the trees are not going to be green because it is near the end of fall, but... I'm guessing this world won't have any snow since it is inspired by San Francisco. Oh, hey, there's David, <laughs> one of the first Sims I did, a Sims 4 Let's Play with. Uh, and yeah, now he's a famous celebrity, a famous comedian. Uh, yeah, I think this messed up. Sorry, I'm going to have to do a little reset. Oh, <laughs> okay, let's, um, or actually did it? No, no, it didn't really successfully do anything. Wait, oh, no one needs a diaper change at the moment, though. Yeah, I guess we'll just give him a bath then, since I can't change the diaper a second time. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Hopefully that doesn't happen every single time I try using the changing table. This is a cute interaction, though. <laughs> oh, the rubber ducky, I didn't see that before. Yeah. <laughs> that cute sponge. Oh, <laughs> meanwhile, Nolan is playing in the other bathtub. So this is actually a new shower tub combo. Finally, I've been begging for more of these. <laughs> it was kind of funny. Like we got a bathroom kit, but we didn't get a uh, we didn't get a shower tub combo because it was actually just focused on clutter. First bath milestone unlocked. 
Spick and span, nothing's better than a clean, happy Magnus after his first bath. Yay! <laughs> oh, I like how she went, wee! <laughs> oh, right, um, another thing I forgot to mention, it happened off camera, but uh, there's this quirk that Magnus got. Magnus rarely wakes up in a good mood. It fits with the hates wake up time quirk. I'm more likely to behave like grumpy buddies when they wake up from a nap or sleep. And yeah, so you can get up to three infant quirks. Toddlers also have quirks with this expansion pack. So, oh, and I forgot to mention, he does have the Wiggly trait because you just choose one trait for the infants. But he does have the strong bloodline trait as well, since he's descended from Breen, who has the weak bloodline trait there. You can see all the other ones she has, including some parenthood ones and the similar shader from the language barriers mod. Um, but yeah, and then there's Nolan's traits in case you are curious. He's even a Storm Chaser sim now. Oh, and also here's Breen's milestone so far in case you were curious about them. Manifest is a spellcaster. I do like how <laughs> there's this one. Get married are those wedding bells in the distance? So we might do a My Wedding Stories portion of this series. Maybe you can just try out this playmat here. Put Magnus down here and then you can see what we can do. And then Nolan can help himself to some <laughs> some plasma packs. They don't have to worry about that. Oh, did he actually drink both of them? Or actually, I guess he could drink one more. Sebastian, congratulations on the new addition to the family. Oh, thank you. That's very nice. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to try the stayovers feature at some point in this series. Because I've been really looking forward to getting that. So we can have relatives over for a while or friends. <laughs> Just doing like a little peekaboo thing. Oh no! <laughs> you didn't like that. Well, uh, let's see what else we can do. Play. Or is that was that it? I thought it was like specifically play peekaboo. Because I think I saw an interaction for that before. Like this life stage is still pretty new to me. So I'm learning the ropes. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Playing with like a little, what is that? Just a little toy there. Oh, oh wait, we got a sentiment? What is happening? Coup milestone unlocked. Ooh, ah, Magnus might not be able to talk. The cooing sounds are a great step in verbal communication. Have him socialize with other sims or stuffed animal to practice more. Interesting, even stuffed animals. Wait, he's getting sad. Oh, rest time for being away for too long. Oh boy. Yeah, it seems like they do need to nap pretty frequently, which I suppose is realistic. <laughs> so let's uh, let's put Magnus here and we can maybe tell a bedtime story. Oh boy. Yeah, he's restless because we waited too long <laughs> to put him to sleep. I'm not sure if you can read a book to an infant. Probably. But I think I just need an appropriate book because I just have like these <laughs> coarse books and some magical tomes. Hmm, I'm not sure if he's into this, <laughs> into this story. There's a buff there. My pride and joy. Aw. From watching a milestone happen. Uh, yeah. yeah. I guess that's not gonna cut it for this wiggly, uh, wiggly infant. Let's kiss goodnight. What the? Unknown caller. Oh, I think I know what <laughs> this is. <laughs> hey, mind if I crash at your place for a few days? <laughs> yeah. Okay. But who's gonna show up as this unexpected Harvest Fest guest? What? Oh! It's not Kyle, it's uh, it's Sonya Bates. <laughs> it's one of my sims, actually. So Sonya was actually a sim that Breen met in university because Breen failed a semester, so she stayed at university a bit longer than the vampires did, and she moved into a different university housing in Ubright still. But yeah, <laughs> Sonya was one of the lovely ladies that she met during that time. So they don't even know each other all that well. But, yeah, <laughs> I guess she just figured she wanted to see a bit of San Sequoia, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. I totally expected Kyle to show up, and she brought this suitcase with her, and what, somebody else is here? 
Oh, it's, this is the actual friend that Breen made during her uh, makeup semester, <laughs> Tasha. So, oh my gosh, we just have, we just have all these guests. I was not expecting this at all. Oh wait, what is that? Needs help from low motives. Uh oh, feels a bit abandoned. Uh, just bottle feed. I thought I did that already, but I guess maybe it didn't fill that much hunger. But hey, here's uh, <laughs> here's Tasha. Uh, let's um, let's just talk to her a little bit. Oh yeah, sure, we can give the Wi-Fi pass. <laughs> that was funny, kind of like that joke I made in my uh, in my werewolves. So that's playing the last episode that I put out, and now I have this whole conversation thing. But I haven't set that up with Tasha at all because I wasn't expecting to see her this episode. So I think she's just gonna. She's just gonna have neutral reactions, like, as if uh, this pack wasn't installed yet, so... Yeah, we're gonna compliment her outfit. Ooh, so I think she's already seen this one, but her hair is different now. <laughs> and yeah, Ooh, here, have my Wi-Fi password. Oh, Woo! And then Sonya's just awkwardly <laughs> standing there in the corner. Um, so then, I don't know how long Sonya is gonna stay over, though. Does it say on the... Calendar? Oh wait, no, it goes from Thursday to Sunday. So can I assign this to my- Oh, I can! Oh, that's good. Yeah, so she doesn't have to use a sleeping bag, because we already have a guest room set up. I, I figured that was going to be something I was going to use, just not this soon. So actually, one thing I'll show you that I think a lot of people forget is that there is a lesson section so there is a couple of different lessons related to the social compatibility because there is the sim characteristic preferences where the likes and dislikes kind of factor into that with the sort of like different activities with that category and the traits also matter and the lifestyles from snowy escape surprisingly are also supposed to count for that so there are five different levels awful bad neutral good or amazing compatibility. And there is conversation topic preferences, which factors into that whole um, like revamped pie menu that you just saw. So you can have Sims like or dislike those particular topics like malicious or deception or compliments or complaints and all that sort of stuff. So seems pretty interesting. Oh, no one's reached parenting level one. That's cool. And actually, they did just get a notification, too, that they're good friends now. Yay! <laughs> so that is pretty cool. And <laughs> let's... It's kind of awkward that Sonya is just kind of kind of just staring at those empty picture frames. There's so many of those. But, um, yeah, let's welcome her. So at these stayovers, you can even have the guests help around the house. So that's pretty nice. It's not... The same as just inviting the guest oh. over for a day, but just a bit longer. So I think there should be some more interactions now that are available. That category. Oh yeah, ask Sonia to relax. Encourage him to not worry about helping around the house. Ask Sonia to help out. Okay. Well, I don't think there's really much we need help with because no one's taking care of Magnus right now. So I guess we could just... Ask her to kick back and relax. <laughs> I love how Tasha's just sitting in front of the <laughs> the editing station there. Oh, and with this suitcase, I got distracted. <laughs> but it basically works like a wardrobe. Though you can also, um, you can open it and close it. So we'll just, uh, this is a little bit of an invasion of privacy. But just to show you what it looks like. <laughs> oh! The eco footprint already went back down to neutral. Ah, oh, that happens in my game so much that the footprint just kind of just de degrades so rapidly it goes back to neutral. But yeah, that's uh, what it looks like there when it's open. And then you can close it. It's too bad that there's no inventory in there as well to, like, you know, if you just want to take other, like, objects with you, then you could load them in there. But I don't know. Maybe we'll still get that in a hotel's game pack or something. Okay, so Magnus is sleeping right now. Off to Dreamland. Asleep plus 10,000! Whoa! From being told a bedtime story. Oh, okay. Dang it. I wish I had seen that, but... Just all these guests to... 
entertain as well. But actually, I know what we can do. Uh, we can watch TV with them because there's actually three new TV channels. If I can just find the TV, there we go. <laughs> so there's brainchild learning, which can sharpen a child's mental skills. So that's pretty useful sounding. There's also Sitcom Central. Family's getting into now funny situations. I watched a tiny bit of it and it's uh, pretty funny. And then Scaremax, <laughs> which is the perfect channel when in the mood for a good scare. Actually, maybe while the ladies watch TV, I'll have Nolan cook some turkey for dinner. <laughs> for Harvest Fest dinner. I mean, Brian and Nolan have the same amount of cooking skill, which is only level 2. So, about an equal chance of things going wrong. Oh. All right. Oh, this is the one that I saw, it looks like. <laughs> With the music from The Sims 1. So nostalgic. Getting the nifty knitting on. What? What is Sonya eating? <laughs> I guess she just grabbed a bowl of chips from the fridge when I wasn't looking. <laughs> oh, yeah. Delso Valley. Uh-oh. <laughs> the stove's on fire! Yeah. Well, at least the fire was put out quickly. But who done it? Who set the stove on fire? This is the one that I saw. Well, at least almost all of it, I think. Then someone turned off the TV, which was unfortunate. Oh, and the gnomes are watching with me. <laughs> Laughing along for watching TV. It's hard not to laugh along when a show has a laugh track. I think a lot of people would disagree with that. Oh yeah, the classic setting off the fireworks in the kitchen. Boom! That caused the fire. Oh, no one reached level 3 cooking. That is good. Um, yeah, hopefully no stove fire on own right now. Uh, okay. Looks like... Oh, wait, no, he's still cooking it. But he's nearly done. Back to the tea. Oh, no. On the laptop now. Wait, what happened? I literally went away for like two seconds and. <laughs> she's angry now. Oh boy. I guess she's mad about replacing the stove. Oh, oh wait, that's another possibility. Oh no. <laughs> she's getting juiced. Oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay, that kind of also started the stone fire. Oh, wow. <laughs> They're really getting into this. Which one? Which one of you was it? <laughs> I guess it was all of them. Oh no! Now the sink is broken. Ah, okay, I guess that was it. <laughs> like, that's another episode, probably. But yeah, there's just a little taste. I don't want to spend, like, too, too long on just TV channels, because I don't think that's the main reason you're here, but I love it when they add new TV channels, and the fact that there's three in this expansion definitely ups the value for me. Oh, there's the turkey. Turned out excellent. Nice. <laughs> Not bad at all for a level two cooking skill. Marble? What are you... Oh, you're on top of the fridge. <laughs> that's uh it's pretty cute just walking around oh <laughs> this is um a custom birdhouse by ravishi and that's kind of like uh in cottage living oh there's a bird over there actually just uh on the ground that's a little uh little chickadee <laughs> yeah i thought that would be a realistic thing to have in the suburbs so <laughs> in the high school years part of this let's play especially you'll be heavily modded but i do use a lot of mods in general to make the game more fun yeah like that dig dog ditch doorbell emelyn emelyn's here oh cool like everyone's just so excited about the new arrival to the family and that they moved all the way to san sequoia <laughs> it's gonna be a a literal full house soon enough okay come on Come on, greet, greet your sister. No, that's weird. I had to reset Nolan. He wasn't doing anything. Oh, there's Marvel. you like, <laughs> Rao, pay attention to me. Sebastian's here too? Why is, why is everybody coming over? <laughs> Man, is it because it's Harvest Fest? 
I don't remember it being like this before. This isn't the first time I'm doing this holiday. Like, I'm not gonna be rude to my dad! <laughs> oh my gosh, I hope this turkey has enough servings. <laughs> I don't know if we even have enough chairs. I don't think we do. Oh my gosh, what a harvest fest this is turning out to be. Well, I guess they could just sit at the <laughs> at the uh, counter as well, or in the office chair, since they don't mind doing that, clearly. Um, let's call the grand meal. I think it's about time. All right. Ganesh! Actually, in real life, my mom does have a dinner bell that she rings. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a pretty funny thing. Uh, oh, Tasha's leaving? You didn't- what? You don't want to stick around for dinner? Or you just do not like turkey? I mean, nothing against not liking turkey. What's that? Magnus started moving his little arms to reach for nearby objects. Now that he can ask for toys and play with the playmat toys, Magnus can learn how to adeptly use his fingers. Oh, yay! Oh, no, she has to pee soon. <laughs> okay, but she still has enough to, like, to still, like, sit here. I should have... Oh, I forgot to set up placemats. I keep forgetting that's a feature with Parenthood that can make them all, like, sit at the same table, but... At least, um, at least some of them did sit together. And this is the best picture I'll probably get of, uh, of this. At least Sebastian seems to appreciate the turkey. <laughs> all the, all the hissing. Yeah, let's take Magnus over to Emmelyn so that she can be introduced to him. Okay, so it turns out I have to actually click on Magnus to get introduced, too. Because I was trying to click on Evelyn at first to find it, but then I was just getting all the regular <laughs> interactions. So yay! <laughs> Let's introduce you to your cool auntie. Your cool vampire auntie. Yeah, there she is. I guess she doesn't want to eat the turkey. Oh, aw, this is so sweet. <laughs> Evelyn's like, oh, he's so cute. And then Magnus is like, um, who are you? Sonoy. <laughs> oh, she's holding him now. <laughs> okay, I think. Whoa! <laughs> Sebastian just zoop it in like that. <laughs> oh, man. This Let's Play is going to have a lot of funny moments like that, isn't it? Oh, man. I can't wait. <laughs> but, okay, we do have another milestone unlocked for Magnus. Knock, knock! Who's there? <laughs> Magnus' first visitor. Magnus finally met another sim outside his... What? It's not even been a day yet. What do you mean, finally? <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah, that's uh, appropriate for it to be a family member. Um, so then... I don't know if Emily's gonna do anything with Magnus now? She's just kind of holding him. I mean, we could introduce <laughs> introduce him to his um, to his grandfather as well. Oh man, I can't believe I'm saying that. Sebastian, the grandfather, <laughs> after all that time back in The Sims Three, and just why can't I introduce him to Sebastian? That's so bizarre. Uh, it reminds me of like when I try to do karaoke in The Sims and then sometimes <laughs> sometimes the Sims that I want to have join in are not in the picker. Okay, so if I click on Emelyn, I can pick up Magnus from Emelyn. And then... What the? Wait, where's she going? Oh, right. I still have the um, always move as bat thing enabled <laughs> with her. I need to disable that. I did that for Nolan because it's annoying how they just keep they keep just kind of teleporting everywhere. Kinkuya? Wait, Nadia? Is Nadia here too? Oh my god, Nadia is way over here. <laughs> just on the other end of the neighborhood. Okay, but like, oh, she's gonna teleport over to us, isn't she? My god! It's... <laughs> we have so many people there already. Ah! <laughs> of course! The whole family is pretty much showing up here. Well, Nolan's side, anyways. Interestingly, none of Brain's family is here. And, and Sonya's just dancing out here. What is she dancing to? 
I don't understand. This is this is getting so weird. But hey, we got to introduce <laughs> introduce Magnus to his grandmother, even though we can't introduce it to his grandfather for some reason. That's very confusing. Why did you put him down? <laughs> no. Oh wait. Okay, you're already picking him up. That's good. Oh, there is another version of Power Sip that came with this pack too. That <laughs> Marvel's just right in front of Power Sip Llama Berry because I think Kyle is uh, supposed to be uh, a huge fan of that. Though I guess Marvel is more keen on the <laughs> on the turkey. Under gossip, there's this new Share San Sequoia Secrets. That could bring up something interesting, but I cannot find the thankful interaction. It's too bad that the holiday-related interactions aren't all under one menu, so I guess there is still some room for improvement there. <laughs> it looks like he's really struggling there while having the conversation. I don't know what secrets he would have already learned so quickly. You know what? It'd be wonderful to spend time with you. Oh, that's nice. We have Santa Quay secrets. You know that clown painting over at the recreation center? Pretty sure it's haunted. No, not pretty sure. Definitely sure. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that being brought up in the live stream that there's a clown painting there. Oh, I guess that ties into the tragic clown. But Breen's already asleep. Come on. <laughs> Let's have you try and appease these gnomes. Oh, I don't know what each one prefers. It's been so long since I've done this. They just give Pi, and I will give you uh, coffee. <laughs> oh, she's in her uh, she's in her sexy lingerie from the Symptomits kit. Oops. Well, <laughs> let's see if that does anything. Oh no, of course. But, but I can repair you, I'm pretty sure. I think Breen, yeah, she did know that because I kept repairing the the wash in the dorm with her magic. Um, yeah, let's, uh, oh, we can just change it to this one for now since you saw her new outfit already. Let's see. Okay, good. I had a feeling that coffee was... One of the things they liked. Oh! Wait, they both went somewhere. Who is this? Casey Rowan. Who we don't like at all, apparently. Oh my god, no. We have enough... We have enough Sims in here, okay? And, well, I guess because... <laughs> I gave the coffee it repaired. Repaired the sink, so that's good. Whoa! Oh, Sebastian's leaving. Okay. And it's so weird that we couldn't introduce Magnus to... Uh, to him. Or we could to Nadia, who was on the other side of the neighborhood at the time. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Sitting in the little sheep chair. Oh, we can plead for forgiveness. <laughs> oh man, these gnomes are ridiculous. They do get a bit annoying, to be honest. But whatever, this is a supernatural let's play, so we'll roll with it this time. Oh god. Oh jeez, she got struck by lightning that somehow went through the roof. What? Ha! Poop! Nolan can't stop laughing at Nadia's gross jokes because maturity is for losers, right? Sometimes a healthy sprinkle of potty humor can flush out a particularly sticky conversation making make it more refreshing. Oh my god, the puns. You know what? While I'm not really much of a potty humor person myself, I can imagine Nolan being like that, so. That's one of the, like, um, yeah, it's one of the social compatibility things that could come up from gameplay, so it's not always just chosen. Same thing with family dynamics. I didn't even talk about that yet. <laughs> but um, for some reason, I was able to decide that with Magnus, but not between Nolan and Breen. It was just grayed out, so that was a bit odd. But I thought, okay, we'll just let it happen in-game. Oh, be thankful is under affection. <laughs> yeah, okay. This pie menu reorganization is still gonna take some getting used to, but I still feel like this is better and more interesting than what we had for almost 10 years. So we can finally do that tradition. 
Then you go out here. And thankfully, thankfully, I don't have any Sims that hate affection yet. Okay, so Bree has accomplished that tradition. That's good. So she's had a good harvest fest. And so has he. <laughs> Though he hasn't done anything with the Holly Gnomes, but I don't want to risk... I don't want to risk it anymore. <laughs> we can't please everybody. Oh. Oh. Okay, I thought they were going to go somewhere else, but they just reappeared in the exact same place as before. But, um, yeah, let's... Let's scrub a -roo this. The benefits of being a spellcaster, am I right? Woo. Oh yeah, and I love the one that uh, I got for Breen, too. It reminds me a lot of Sailor Moon. I remember I was really fascinated with Sailor Moon as a kid, but I haven't watched Sailor Moon since I was uh, a child, so I gotta watch it again sometime. Actually, it looks like we gotta change Magnus's diaper, so we'll have to do that as well, and hopefully this won't break again. Okay, Harvest Fest successful, yay! Okay, I'm glad despite the new expansion being a thing that I still managed to successfully complete it. Um, are you gonna... Man, the simulation lag is pretty annoying. Ugh. Come on, go and change the diaper. You don't need to check the infant, you already know what's up. Oh yeah, she is watching. <laughs> watching Lost Dog Journey Home. She's crying because the dog ran away chasing the cat. No, don't put Magnus down there, what? Why do you want to do that before changing his diaper? That's so strange. Oh well. Hopefully now this will work. Okay, now finally it's doing something. I do remember Plumbella saying there are some routing issues with growing together. But, um... Uh-oh. Oh no. I think it broke again. Oh wait! Oh, something's happening. But hopefully it actually completes. Oh, crying a little bit. Oh, yay, it actually worked. Thank goodness it's not every single time. Put Magnus to sleep. Okay. Actually, I can't remember. I saw somebody on Twitter say it. That with infants, it reminded them of Horses of the Sims 3 in terms of, like, how um, annoying the routing can be. Oh, okay, I didn't realize. Also, needed to be fed already. Is anyone there? Oh, boy. These cries have gone completely unanswered. It's help from Lomo as well. It needs to go to sleep, which we'll hopefully do very soon. Oh my gosh, I wish they would get rid of that show calendar notification thing there. Because, yeah, that that really drives me up the wall. Alright, there you go. And we'll soothe the sleep. And you can enjoy uh, another plasma pack. Yeah, we'll need to go fishing. At some point, so we can convert those fish into plasma packs. That's something I did a lot in my uh, previous Let's Plays with him. Which was a good way to do it, instead of spending money each and every time on the computer to get these ones. Oh, I forgot to actually look at the sentiment that uh, they got. So, growing closer from quality time, that's really nice. And Nolan and Emily are super siblings, so that's pretty neat. That is a thing from parenthood. But yeah, I will wrap things up here. I hope you enjoyed this first episode of Supernatural Generations. I'm really looking forward to seeing where this will go. Uh, can we maybe just quickly send, uh, send Sonya to bed to pillow fight? I mean, maybe Breen could do that with her later. Yeah, I forgot that <laughs> that was added with high school years. But be sure to subscribe if you'd like to keep up with my latest gaming content. I will talk to you all later and have a great day. Thanks for watching.